We should be at the point of module separation. We'll stand by. Kazbeke, how do you copy Moscow? And module separation now is confirmed, right on schedule. Everything uh, continuing to go very smoothly as uh, the Soyuz MSO-3 with Novitsky and Pesquet aboard uh, barrels its way toward the landing site in south-central Kazakhstan. The Soyuz MSO-3 now entering the Earth's atmosphere. This is Mission Control Houston. You can see uh, the wisps of vapor, that is uh, the residual hydrogen peroxide from the fuel lines on the Soyuz spacecraft being vented. And uh, there is the MSO-3 with Novitsky and Pesquet on board, heading toward the landing site with touchdown expected just 10 minutes from now. The uh, Soyuz spacecraft now nearing uh, its landing site, just seconds away from touchdown. Standing by for the firing of the soft landing engines. Touchdown. The Soyuz is back on Earth with Oleg Novitsky and Toma Pesquet. Landing occurring at 9.10 a.m. Central Time, 10.10 a.m. Eastern Time, 8.10 p.m at the landing site in Kazakhstan. The Soyuz MSO-3 spacecraft, Oleg Novitsky and Toma Pesquet, back on Earth after 196 days in space. This view of Oleg Novitsky being attended uh, by Russian uh, medical personnel, as is customary. European Space Agency flight surgeon personnel uh, around to Pesquet. Again, both crew members out of the Soyuz vehicle very quickly having uh, landed just 18 minutes ago at 9.10 a.m. Central Time. 